Graduation giveaway in Fitchburg. A high school grad is headed to Harvard. But before she starts her college career, she's helping others to do the same. Verda Tetta was awarded a $40,000 scholarship. $40,000, but gave all of it back. Asking instead that the money go to someone who is struggling to pay for college. Ken McLeod has the story. No one had the chance to say, don't give away 40000 <laughs> She chuckles about it now, but 17-year-old Verda Tetta dropped jaws at Friday's Fitchburg High graduation. Yes, I would do it again. Sorry, again, for interrupting. What the straight-A student did was win the school's coveted scholarship for general excellence, 10 grand for each of the next four years, only to unexpectedly return to the podium within minutes to turn it down. It is such a great honor, but I also know that I am not the most in need of it. Yes, it turns to Harvard. Verda, who is Harvard bound with a bunch of other scholarships, suggested the money go to a struggling fellow student or students for whom it might open a door to community college. I'm excited to see who, who it helps and, you know, how that changes their life. So I am so happy that, you know, God gave me the strength to do that. That standing ovation followed some moments of reflection for Verda, during which she heard the assistant principal urge grads to be bold and selfless, and that made her think of her mom, an immigrant who often works 80-hour weeks to provide for her family. Verda's mom brought her to this country as a child from their native Ghana, always stressing the importance of education. In fact, mom earned her bachelor's degree at a local community college at the age of 47. Which is why Rosemary Tetta is so proud of her daughter's spontaneous decision. Now I am 100% sure she's ready to go into the world on her own. I feel that, you know, God has gotten me this far and he will take me the rest of the way. The details of who now gets her scholarship haven't been worked out. But as Verda tackles her pre-med regimen at Harvard this fall, even if she comes up a few bucks short here and there, she'll know she did the right thing. Whatever happens, someone else needed it more. In Fitchburg, Ken McLeod, WBZ News. Wow, she is a class act. My jaw is on the floor. <laughs> I could not be more impressed with her. With her and her mother working 80 hours a week, the pride she feels now. Great story there yes. by Ken McLeod. Bravo. Look